Revision marks serve many purposes. Basically, they are used to display when, where, and by whom changes were made in a document. Word can display these revision marks in several different ways, such as striking through or underlining the text. To make revisions, select the Tools menu, then choose Track Changes and Highlight Changes. In the Highlight Changes box, click on Track Changes while editing, then click on the OK button. Now, the changes will appear in the document as the text is typed. In addition, notice that the letters TRK are bolded in the status bar near the bottom of the screen. This indicates that the tracking marking is currently turned on. Now, place the insertion point after products and type CD-ROMs. Now, move the insertion point after products, then press the backspace key until the word has a line through it. Once revisions have been created, select the Tools menu, choose Track Changes, then Accept or Reject Changes. A dialog box pops up on screen with several different options. Notice the Changes section shows who made changes to the document and when they were made. At this point, to accept this revision, click the Accept option. Notice that the word Products is deleted and the new word CD-ROMs is accepted as the revision. Now click on Close. Click the Close button to close the document and click No at the Save Changes dialog box. Word provided several ways to restrict access to a document. For instance, we can assign a password to open the document, which prevents unauthorized users from opening it. We also can assign a password to modify the document, which allows others to open the document but not to save changes without the password. If someone opens a document without the password to modify and change the document, that person can save the documents only by giving it a different file name. Let's learn how to require a password to modify a document. With the Learn One file on screen, select the File menu, then click Save As. In the Save As dialog box, click Options. Then in the Password to Modify box, type VIA as a password, then click OK. In the Re-enter Password to Modify box, type the password once more, then click OK. Click Save. At this point, the document can't be opened without the password. A document also can be opened as read-only. Select the File menu, then click Save As. Click Options, then select the Read-Only Recommended checkbox, and then click OK. At this point, click Save. 